So this is just a walkthrough for the Accessorizer client, and that is a, an example of a client app that can talk to the Accessorizer distributed object server that's um, available in 2.9.3 and above. So um, I'm just going to walk through what's required here. There's basically um, a protocol to talk to that server, and the main method that you're going to use is just this one method. You uh, call for an action with an input string. So the accessorizer action, pass in an action, which is an integer, and then for the input string. So you're going to send it some code, and it has to be the right type of string that you send into accessorizer in order to handle it. Now the, the action is defined here, and there's this collection of enums for all the different actions that accessorizer performs. And with the exceptions of um, the singleton and KVO, because they require a class name or the key and key paths, you can just pass in and use this one method. Um, the singleton styles are the standard style, which is the kind of long, verbose approach. Then you have the GCD style, um, and then you have a choice to send in, to say, just use whatever the user's preferences um, is set to, because the user can define in, his, in the accessorizer settings whether he wants to use the GCD or the standard. So if you pass in user, um, you'll get just what the user um, has set in his preferences. Otherwise, you can force a standard or a GCD style. Again, you're going to probably just mostly use this one method. And Okay, now in this uh, application demo, you can see I have to, I've set up the, the, uh, the uh, protocol uh, access to my accessorizer server. And I just got some input and output views and a couple of fields here to handle um, a GUI way to define that, those values. Then have my actions um, just for generating those code. Now I've got some buttons on the interface that are wired up to this generate code. Um, and then they have tags on those buttons. And those tags are going to um, just are going to line up with, uh, with these enums. So that way, I click a button, checks the enum, and then it says, OK, you want this. Um, in the implementation file, you have to, in your init method, you want to set up the connection to the server. So you can define your um, NS connection, the server connection, and then it's um, the name is accessorized the server. You have a servercon root proxy. You have to retain that. And then I've got these two little alerts that I pop up if the server is running or if it's not running. And you can do whatever you want there. And if you're not even doing, if you're not even creating a, a GUI interface, of course, you can do all this in some other uh, behind the scenes in some app that you're just trying to get code from Accessorizer or maybe from a script that you can write even inside Xcode. And then you have to um, cast the server to this distant object and set a protocol for proxy uh, to the Accessorizer server. That's all you got to do. So it looks pretty simple. And then in here, you've got these just these few action methods. Here's the, the generate code. It takes the tag from the button, and then it takes the input string, sends it off to the server, server returns the results, and then I just go and publish the results down here. Um, put that in a separate method in case I wanted to do something with it. Likewise, for the singleton, you have to get the class name and define what type of singleton you want. KVO, the key and the key paths. So it's all extremely simple. Let me just run that. And I'm just going to build it here. Building it says we found the server, and then this comes up. Now I'm just going to drag in a bunch of uh, IVARs here. Notice that my IVARs have uh, different prefixes: um, an underscore here, outlet, member, uh, weak link, uh, like this. So, and that just uh, just to make sure that this is going to work properly with the settings. I hit declaration. It stripped out um, all those uh, prefixes. If I do implementation, it uh, defined them properly, including the dialog. And due to the mode, it detected that there was one view here that uh, was an outlet, so it's going to undo that. And let's check out Singleton. If I have a, um, say, QV URL center, let's say it's my class, I tap to Singleton, I've got the standard Singleton here right now. Uh, person, say I get a person class, name, age, height, let's see what KV does, and we get that. So. It's pretty quick. It's talking to the server. It's getting um, results and coming right back into your interface. Again, you could this could be in, embedded inside some app if you just are doing a JSON parser um, or something else, and you needed to get some work done by Accessorizer. And um, the be key benefits that are uh, the Accessorizer knows different types. Again, if you can see here in the declaration, there's a copy on the string. 
retain this output to copy on this string and to assign on that delegate. Now if I could go to if the user had assign ID outlets set here, assign ID outlets, then if there's this declaration, you can see now that an ID outlet was assigned. And if I go into the alloc, that outlet is no longer deallocated. So all those um, all the benefits from accessorizer are intact. From the server, it makes it very simple. Basically using just that one API here, just generate code the, using this one simple API with the exception of the singleton KBO. All right, thank you.